In this video, we're going to have a summary of MLE and learn the optimization algorithms to numerically solve the maximum likelihood estimation. So given data D, we have n number of samples. Each sample belongs to a d-dimensional feature vector. Uh, space. Now assume each sample are drawn from a family of distribution uh, with unknown data, unknown parameter data. And we're we'll, uh, going to have a IID assumption, which is uh, each sample are independent and identically distributed. So we also define the likelihood function and the log likelihood function. So log likelihood is a natural log of likelihood function. And then the goal of the uh, MLE is to estimate the data sub ML that maximize the likelihood function given D, which means that it maximizes the probability of observing data D given the set of parameters. So this can be represented as a argmax data. And if you use a log likelihood instead of likelihood function, we'll have the following. equations. Okay. Note that there is a independent assumption behind this equation. So if you can analytically solve this gradient of log likelihood, And we can simply find the extremum analytically. We have seen this uh, in our examples. And let's talk about the properties of MLE. So MLE is easy, easy to understand is to set up a uh, likelihood function and has a nice asymptotic asymptotical properties such as consistency, normal, normality and efficiency. Also has no confidence interval on the estimation so we cannot uh, we don't know about the, the uncertainty behind the estimation and then existence and Uniqueness not guaranteed. Lastly, MLE uh, in practice, MLE does uh, usually does not have analytical solutions. So now we're going to quickly go through options to numerically solve the maximum likelihood estimation problems.
So uh, here are some uh, numerical optimization algorithms to solve MLE. So first category is a deterministic algorithms. Uh, so first one is a gradient descent. It uses um, uh, first order uh, derivative to optimize the objective function and Nelder mid algorithm uh, utilizes uh, some, uh, sometimes it's called a downhill simplex method it's a, it's a this is a heuristic search algorithm and the Newton's method it uses a second order uh, Oh, sorry. First order derivative for a gradient descent and second order derivative is used in uh, Newton's method and the second order derivative is sometimes called the curvature of a function. So the problem with the deterministic numerical optimization algorithm is sometimes you can sometimes just stuck with a local extrema. And never get to a global uh, extrema. So so the stochastic there is another category uh, with the uh, stochastic algorithms. Uh, it has generic alg uh, genetic algorithms and s simulated annealing algorithm. So these are actually so solves uh, local extremum issues. Issues in theory that the deterministic algorithms have, but it's sometimes not not it's not it's not always applicable though. Not always applicable. Okay, and uh, there's a. EM algorithm. This is a expectation maximization algorithm. This is a very popular algorithm. It can be viewed one of, uh, as one of the this deterministic uh, optimization algorithm, but uh, as a little different flavor to it, uh, and have a very nice properties. Uh, so it has a two-step uh, algorithm. First is a uh, expectation step that goes E step. And e step um, it creates a function for the expect of the log likely hood evaluated using current estimate of the parameters. And in M step, maximization, maximization step, computes parameters, maximizing the expected 
log likelihood. Found in found on the E step, the previous E step. So basically, uh, the EMR brain kind of alternates between these two steps and keep updating these uh, updating the parameters. So once it reaches a certain uh, stopping criteria, it it claims to is uh, to find the, the extremum. So I mean, it has various uh, nice properties like uh, easy, to, easy, easy to formulate and program. And it's numerically very stable. And can deal with uh, incomplete data. But this is, it is very slow to converge. So this is uh, basically a uh, basic overview on the EM algorithms. And we went through all the basic setup of MLE and we go through all every uh, details of the property of MLE and we have seen um, several examples of uh, MLE solutions which are uh, analytically uh, solved and we also went through this uh, numerical optimization options to solve the MLE uh, problems numerically. All right. So thank you. Uh, thank you for watching this video. And for uh, more information about lectures, check out www.projectria.org.